folks, it's been a minute. I uh, took some time off the bench, uh, rebooted my fitness routine, added to it, looked around the house and realized I hadn't done anything around here. So I started pressure washing the patio in the driveway and getting uh, rid of some stuff in the garage, getting rid of some stuff in the closets, just trying to clean up because I get buried in this bench and I lose track of things. And one day I go outside, I look at the lawn and I can't see any of the cats running through it except for this much of their tail. I know it's time to cut the grass. So anyway, Back to the bench here. I was going to get back into that Luxman, but I got a call yesterday from a friend and coworker of mine who goes by Super Dave. And uh, he's heavy in the firearms and recording equipment. Um, and when I say heavy duty, he gets into both at this deep. So what he brought me is a Neumann microphone preamp. Now, Neumann is well known for their microphones. Their U-series microphones are the gold standard for recording studios and have been for decades. Um, and this preamp is probably something that I will never see another one of and you may never see in your entire life. But it has a problem which is common to all kinds of electronic equipment. And what it looks like is a bad solder joint or something has become detached from the board. I haven't opened it up yet, but he said it would hum occasionally and when he tapped it, the meters would go nuts, noise would come out of the speakers. And I do have it connected to my bench speakers here and I'm gonna move the camera in so you can see this and I'm gonna tap it and you'll see the VU meter go nuts and you'll hear the speaker. So let me move that so you can get a better look at what I see when I do this. Okay, so this is a two-channel unit, uh, channel A, channel B, with separate VU meters, and I have the speakers turned up, and my speakers are fortunately fused, so if they get too large a tranche, it'll just blow the fuse instead of blowing tweeters, as I've done in the past. I'd rather replace a 25-cent fuse and a $30 tweeter. So watch the meters here as I tap this. So... That's the problem we're having. And like I said, you may never see another one of these in your life, but that is a fairly common problem. So now I have to disassemble it and see how difficult it is to get to anything on here. And we'll see what we're gonna do. Okay, so this is filled with surface mount components. This is the board in question. I don't believe it's this power supply board that we see over here because um, this should be common to both channels and it's definitely only channel one. You could see from the meters and what my friend told me. So I saw surface mount components in here and I started to get really concerned because I got to put my visor on to do pretty much anything except wipe my ass. It's, my vision's gotten really bad. And while I had taken this hiatus from the bench, I went and had an eye exam. It was high time. And the optometrist explained to me why I can't see anything anymore. And it's because I'm developing cataracts in both eyes. Um, this is probably the best time in history to have that happen. Uh, there's a history of cataracts in both my, uh, hang on, spam call number 14 on my work phone. I apologize for the interruption. Um, Anyhow, there's a history of cataracts on both my uh, paternal and maternal sides of the family. And my mother told me that my paternal grandfather had cataract surgery in the early 50s and that his head was immobilized between sandbags in the hospital. Contrasted to today where it's an outpatient procedure to have your um, cataract removed and a, and a lens inserted and most people wind up with 20-20 vision. So, it's, it's a drag it happened, but it's about time in history for it. So I may be getting eye surgery later this year. We'll see what happens. In any event, let's get back to this Neumann here. So I was a little concerned when I saw the surface mount components. So I started tapping on the board. And this is the MO for finding things like this. You tap. Okay, it's around here. I don't get so much when I tap over here. Mostly I found, and you don't have to tap hard because it didn't take much. And I'll tell you where I found it. Thankfully, it was not one of the surface mount components, which I really didn't suspect. Usually when you have a solder joint like this, it's one of the larger components that's broken loose from the board. And what it looks like is one of these big film capacitors. And I think it's this one right here. So this one seems to be okay, but this one, this looks like our culprit. 
Oh, don't you dare stop. I believe that's it, and by pressing it in, I think it's pretty much stopped it, so. Yeah, we're gonna pull the board loose and take a look at the other side of this, and I think we'll see that we have some solder joint issues. Okay, so um, I had to take the knob off the front in order to get this board out, and the Allen wrench was smaller than the smallest one I have here, which you see is point what is one point two seven millimeter. So I had to buy this cute little guy. Thank goodness for uh, one day ordering from Amazon. The knob was a 0.9 millimeter, which is the second one here. I'm scared to death. I'm going to drop this and never see it again. But anyway, I was able to get the knob off and invert the board. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but I'm going to try and wiggle the capacitor and see if, if you'll be able to see what the problem is. You got to get in pretty close. All right. So basically, it's one end of the cap. I don't think this is really showing up, but I have to remove the solder and re-solder this, and that should take care of the whole problem. Okay, so I've got this thing um, put back together here, and now it does not do what it was doing before. You see our VU meters aren't moving, and I'm feeding a small amount of signal in from a signal generator, and let's see, which I, I guess I turned off. There we go. Yeah, and you can see we have signal on our VU meter. So yeah, this looks like it's good. I'll probably never see another one of these again. You may never see one in your life, but the troubleshooting is something that you would see, you'll see again and again. Surface mount components are very dependable. Uh, the, the construction and the size of the components makes this kind of thing pretty rare. But when you're dealing with through hole components that are sizable, um, this kind of thing can happen. And I should have known to look there first, but by tapping on the board judiciously with the chopstick, when we got closer, we could readily see this was the problem. But after soldering them, everything looks good. No more bouncing the VUs, nothing through the speakers, everything's good. So that's it for this one. I'm going to put this to bed. I also have a uh, tube microphone. He says it's a little noisy. So I'm going to take a look at that next. But that's, uh, that's all for this one. And as always, I thank everyone for watching. And I like giving back to the community that's given me so much. Thanks a lot, folks.